the leader of the third party. Here, here. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, this government claims Alberta has gained 20,000 jobs under their watch, but Statistics Canada, most recent labour force survey, tells a different story. Mm. Alberta lost 63,200 jobs since May 2015. Ouch. Meanwhile, every part of the goods producing sector has lost jobs, totaling 71,000 jobs since this government took power. When will this government's failed plan actually produce even one private sector job beyond the tens and hundreds of thousands that you have driven out of Alberta? Good question. Honourable Premier. Well, Mr. Speaker, as the member opposite knows, with the drop in the price of oil, many, many Albertans lost their jobs, and we are very, very, we, we are concerned about them, and we understand that it was a very, very serious uh, uh, issue for many, many Alberta families, and that's why we've been focused on trying to combat that which happened as a result of the price of oil, Mr. Speaker. And you're right, we're not there yet. For nine of the last 10 months, we've seen job growth in Alberta, and that's good. In March, we saw 20,000 new jobs, and that's even better, Mr. Speaker. But we'll be the first to admit our job is not done. We continue to be focused on creating jobs for Alberta. Thank you. The Premier never gets tired of being wrong. Agriculture is among Alberta's most important industry that does not depend directly on global energy prices. 16,700 jobs lost in agriculture, Premier, not because of oil. 24 per cent of the 68,000 jobs gone under your watch. Can the Agriculture Minister tell us how much of that job loss is due to an actual contraction in agriculture production and exports, and how much is it due to farmers and ranchers avoiding hiring so they don't have to deal with Bill 6? Ah, no question. Minister. Honourable Minister of Agriculture. Honourable Minister of Agriculture and Forestry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, for one, in this government, can't be more proud of our agriculture sector. It is now the agribusiness. The agri-food processing sector in, in Alberta, Mr. Speaker, is now the, sec is the largest manufacturing sector in the, in the province, Mr. Speaker. Our agriculture uh, uh, continues to be a, a, a real bright spot in the province, will continue to be so. I and this government have uh, the best interests of, of farmers at, at heart. We will continue to do so. We're making lives better for all farmers. We're making uh, lives better for all Albertans. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Speaker, it's no wonder neither minister wanted to answer the question about their failed policies. 89,000 jobs from our goods producing sector are lost, including 31,000 in construction, 22,000 in manufacturing, 16,000 in agriculture, thousands more in energy, and given that the jobs in exportable services are also down, including 15,000 in, in, in accommodation and food service, they have a lot to be ashamed of. How can this government claim it's diversifying the economy when almost every sector has lost jobs on your watch and they're not all because of oil? Development and trade. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. You know what I'm not going to apologize for? The fact that rigs are drilling, uh, the, the number of rigs drilling in our province are up 100 per cent from last year. The fact that our exports, Mr. Speaker, Alberta's exports are up 68 per cent over last, the same time last year. And that's including our non-energy exports, Mr. Speaker, which have reached the highest level since 2008. Our wholesale trade has risen for the fifth month in a row and has reached highest levels since June of 2015. Mr. Speaker, last year we led the country in private sector capital investment, and we're on track to lead it again. 